Oh baby, Jim Masu, eat me. Baby Jim Masu, oh baby Jim. Guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lani Good, you don't know. And this is my sister. She's my special guest. Her name is Chintala. Chintala. So anyway, guys, if you if this is the first time you seeing or coming across my channel, the way you've been, you've been missing out, bitch, because it's lit over here. And if um, you're a returning subscriber, then you know I fucks with you heavy. So anyway, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna be giving advice to the ladies, them, the girls, them, because we have to look out for our sisters, isn't it? Of course, of course. So basically, we're gonna show you how to trap a nigga. Do you understand? We're gonna show you how to make sure that this guy is whipped, he's wrapped around your little finger. Do you understand? No more you crying over no man. No more, no more. If you do what we say, he'll be in love with you, sis. He'll be in love with you. Do you agree? I agree. 100%. Amen. 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 Okay, cool. So basically, how we came up with these this um these conclusions is we did some research and thing. We we, we, we did some, some googling and thing. Just some scientific right research. Right. Some scientific research. Yes. Yeah. We watched the baboons and how the we baboons did. interact with each other. Well, how the people communicate. And right, 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 right. Procreate in this environment. Yeah, 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 yeah. We really took a sit, sit back here and we're yes. really watching the society and doing the, you know, the, the graphs and the new, the numerics. Go data. That's what we were looking yeah, at. Yeah, the data and also the trends and the analysis. Yeah, trends and analysis and also, guys, for, just for you lot, we even might have gone on one or two dates. You understand? Yes. And it's in it, in it. We saw a couple, of, one or two here and there. Yeah. So some of it is like field research. Field research yes. from our own first hand experience this is fresh off the press new to you okay so basically seven we're giving them seven tips, seven yeah tips. no cap all these tips are going to make him fall for you all these tips we'll never give you any advice that is rubbish yeah we're giving you advice that is dope and is looking out for you sis so anyway we're gonna start number one tip don't be too available, sis. Don't be too available. Okay, elaborate. Give me an example. Okay. I'm gonna give you a little example. If he says, hey girl, do you wanna meet up on Saturday? You wanna meet up with him on Saturday? But don't say yes. Say, um, I think that will work. However, let me get back to you. You know the answer. <laughs> yes. You know the answer, is yes. But you have to come back to let me get back to you. you. Let me get back to you. Well, you're telling you, oh my god, we got to ask you out here. Yes. You know the answers, yes? Come back a couple of hours later. A couple of hours later, I'll even say days. Hear, yeah, hear what I'm saying? Them. Hear what I'm saying, yeah? Make him wait. Hear what I'm saying? You don't you don't want to make a guy know that he's a priority and you're yes. on him, bears. Um, is that, is, what's that what's that game, poker, where you, you don't want to show your face, is what they call it? Yeah. You don't want to show your face or reveal how you feel about someone yeah. too soon. It's a turn off. Nobody want, men are naturally the hunters, they're naturally the chasers. Men want to, men have, men want to feel like they're like achieving something when they're, when they're looking for their missus or whatever. So when you give everything too easy, it's not attractive. So therefore you need to, you need to give them a chase. So you need to make it a little bit difficult for him for so yet. Yeah, you can't be too, too available. Like she said with the, are you available and you play hard to get. I will take it even further. Okay. This is gonna sound like a fuckboy move, yeah? Okay. But how many of you lot have been in this situation? You either ring him or he rings you. Yeah. Calm, you're having a nice combo. And then he says to you, babe, he says, I'm gonna call you back, yeah? I'm gonna call you back later. I'm just, I need to um, sort something out with my boy. Boy, or oh, I need to have my mum shopping, yeah? I'm gonna call you back later. Oh, I'm gonna call you back in half an hour. I'm gonna call you back in 20 minutes. I'm gonna call you back tonight. Heard that one. Yeah? Mm. And you hear nothing. Air deadness. Silence. Silence. And the cheek, silence. some of silence. And some of the cheek here, yeah, you might be like, oh yeah. Oh my god, yeah, that happened to me. He didn't call me for 12 hours. Or oh, I didn't hear about hear from him from 24 hours. Or oh, I didn't hear from him for two days. Hear what I'm saying, yeah? Don't double call him. Don't double text him. Let him do what he's doing. Let him do Leave what him. he's doing. Leave okay. him. And and I'll even add this. When he finally messages you, make sure you wait. Yes. Make sure you wait. Don't text him back. Oh, baby, yeah, how are you? Don't do that. No, Don't, no, not straight away. No, you have to look like you're you're busy. Oh, what? you're busy. I'm busy too. Do you understand? Oh, little busy, tip. I'm busy little too. tip to help you not take back straight away. Right. Put his um mute his notifications so that naturally, even if he texts you at two o'clock, you're not gonna see the notification until minimum. 10 past 2 because you're not getting notifications you're not going to see it make him wait personally i would make him wait a couple of hours 
actually, if it was 12 hours and he hadn't texted me back, I'll probably make him wait minimum seven hours before I respond. Do you know what I do? When I, when I, in, in any situation where I have a goal to me, yeah. and I personally, this is what I do, I, I listen to inspiring music yeah. to remind myself that I'm a bad bitch and yeah. I've got this. Yeah. So what I do is I'll put up Cardi B, get up 10. They gave a bitch two hours, Look, stripping the They gave a you bitch two hours, stripping the loose. And I tell myself, bitch, bitch, you got this! Look at the mirror, you're a bad bitch. You're a bad bitch! This nigga is not gonna win. <laughs> you are gonna fucking win! your friend the phone, you'll still the phone. If you have to go hide the phone, right. whatever you have to do. you know what, I'll take it this far and he'll never ever know. Sis, you have to do what you have to do. Yeah. If you know that it's gonna be difficult for you the whole day and you've got work, leave your phone but at home. home. Yes. Leave your phone yes. at home, sis. Yes. Or take the SIM card out. Yeah. So maybe if you've got some, like maybe there's tunes on it, on yeah. there. Take the SIM card out, leave it underneath your bed and take it with you so you can listen to some tunes. Yeah. And when you when you get home and you imagine that's even worse. You can even run in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Card, it doesn't matter. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't, he doesn't know. Doesn't know. Yeah. And, and imagine the best part of that is this, yeah? Imagine he even rings you. Yeah. And your phone, it's like even going through. <laughs> That's the one. Yes. And then he's even yeah. thinking, he's even thinking, oh my god, what's what? Is something up with her? And yeah. then, let me tell you something, when you finally talk to him after two or three days of him playing stupid games, or the fact that he was with some bitch called Shaniqua, you act like you're not, I'm bothered. You're just like, he's just like, oh, oh, I haven't heard from you. And you'd be like, oh, didn't even know this. <laughs> Unbothered, cool, calm, and relaxed. Yeah. That's what you do, sis. Yeah. Make sure you've got this. You hold yourself together. No, don't be too available for these guys. Yeah. Call him back, text him back. Don't be annoying. Don't be annoying. Yeah. Match his energy, if anything. Yeah. Yeah. No, but even if he's even if he's on you though, it always flips. You know that happens. That guys will be on you in the beginning, and then yeah. immediately they clock you like them. They lose interest. Yeah. Or they or they or they give back. Don't yeah. do it, sis. Don't make it obvious. If you like him, do you keep that to yourself or you tell your friends, but you do not let him know that you like him like that. Someone said, I don't know where I got this from, that girls always underestimate how much a guy likes them and guys always overestimate how much a guy how yeah, much million, a girl likes him. Million. So the little little things you're doing that you think are not a big deal, in his mind they are massive. That's why you need to hold back, hold it in, keep it in. Don't let him know. That's how I think he should be I think go. I think he should be even unsure if you're on him. Yes. He should be yeah. like, does she really number two? Don't talk about your ex. Yeah, don't mention him at all. Whether he was good to you or he wasn't good to you, just don't talk about him. I, I, I ha this is probably my biggest blunder in it because I always talk about my exes in it. But this is something, yeah, yeah you need to stop doing that. This is a, the biggest blunder girls make. Forget your ex. Okay, if I, I reckon if. You had a positive experience with an ex yeah. guy, a po very positive one, like, oh yeah, yeah, we're cool, or like, he's, he's done his thing, he's got married, but yeah, I have love for him, that's different. But if you're talking bitter, okay. uh, because it's the, the, I think the problem more lies when it's a bitter thing. Okay. So basically what happens is, when when a guy, um, when a guy's getting to know you, right, you are painting a picture of who you are. Everyone is mm. presenting who they are. So when you present, yeah, you know, I'm this sophisticated, mm. sexy black queen. Mm. I've got a confident. job in the confident. I got a job in the city. I drive a Mercedes. I'm 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 about to get a mortgage. I'm a catch. Yeah. Uh, why haven't you got a why haven't you settled down? Why haven't you got a boyfriend? Because uh, because nobody can can step up to this queen. Or oh, I was I was chasing my goals. When you, you're presenting that that this the best side of you, but what happens is when you start going, you know, you know my ex, right? Yeah, you know what he done to me, yeah. You know what he did for my mom. You know what I'm saying? Because I am a mom. Yeah, it makes you look like you're, you're a bit a of a yeah. mom, though. Because why did you let him boy you like that? Yeah. Unless I guess unless you're telling the story, nah. Even if you're telling the story, laughing. You still look like a mom. I mean, unless this happened years ago, ten years ago. No, I don't think you should talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you should talk about it because because um, another thing is like this guy might meet you and with all this gassing you're doing about you know I work in the city blah 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 he views you like up here but then when you start talking about you you know you're a mom blah 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 even if you're not down here anymore this way he's gonna see you now yeah he he's will. not gonna treat by default. you right. he's by gonna default. disrespect because he's gonna think if man is just man, man are just um mm. what um mm, cheating on this thing man is treating this girl like some bitch man is stealing from this bitch she's a dumb bitch she she what wait like girls do a lot for guys like girl, yeah. i know girls that have taken cars out in guys names um you like i know a girl that if, even like i think took out a house and like when you 
listen, t keep that embarrassing shit yeah. to yourself. If you let a guy mug you off, don't be telling this new guy, oh yeah, yeah, oh my god, he mugged me off. Because more, t do you know what? It's not even just about boys. It's actually a human trait. What happens is when you tell people what other people have done to you, they sometimes can look, can use it against you in yeah. future. It's a weakness. Yeah. You don't want to show your weak side. So to be honest with you, it doesn't matter how much your ex hurt you, you 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 keep yourself, you keep the same face of you being this queen. No one needs to know. No one needs to know. That's a secret. Yeah. No one needs to know. Maybe when you're married and he's got four kids, and you can say to him, "Yeah, that ex of mine, yeah, he was a dickhead." That's yeah, it. Took me for a mug. But before that, you don't need you don't need to be showing people that you're a dickhead. Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god, Jeremy, he cheated on me with two girls, and he got some girl pregnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's gonna cheat on you. Yeah. Like, don't do that. You leave, leave it. I know it's all, it's a lot of games, but I feel like the the, the generation we live in, that like you have to play games. You have yeah. to, you know. What, was, what did you say? Don't don't show your cards. Don't show your cards. Was. Yeah. Don't show your Poke cards. Face. So number three, have goals. This is yes. the, about, about presenting yourself, isn't it? Yeah. This is yeah. Do you just have to kind of show him? This is not even necessarily about the goals. Just show him that you have a life. You are valuable. You are a winner outside of your attachment to being in a relationship. Million. You are Yeah, just show them that you know you're you're valuable. You're a bad beat. You he he needs to come into your life and be bringing something. Yeah. You're, you're not just a rubbish little girl. You are different from um the next girls around you. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. I think it's important to just show somebody like at the end of the day, like I got, I I I got my shit together, or mm -hmm. I'm going to. Like I'm ambitious. Mm -hmm. I, I'm 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 a hard worker. I've got mm -hmm. dreams. I've got goals. Nobody, it it. The reason like a lot of your MCMs like love off and 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 fancy people like Rihanna and all these people is not just because they're pretty. Like yeah. people like pretty people, but on top of that, people also like people who are ambitious, people who've got it, people who are out here working hard. It's a very sexy, sexy yeah. um, characteristic. I'm not saying that you have to have loads of money in the bank. Boys, I don't think boys really care about that. Yeah. But when a boy sees, look at her, she's got her little whip. You know what I mean? She's opening her little her little nail thing on Snapchat. She's always mm -hmm. showing people, yeah, girl, do your nails. And then she goes to work. Or like, you, you know, it's really cute. Or when he sees that you and your girls have gone on holiday, even though it's nothing to do with him. But oh yeah, me and my girls are going to Dubai. It's nice yeah. to see, oh, look at her. She's, she's got winner. it. She's yeah. got it. She's got it. And she, she knows how to look after herself. And that's sexy. Yeah, it's people, very sexy. It's very, very sexy. No man wants to be with like some, some bum bitch. Yeah. No, no man wants to be with some, some bum bitch. So sometimes I will add this as well. If you want a guy that's very, very popular or doing very well for himself, sometimes he will never see you in that light until you level up you need to sometimes level up and then the type of guy you want to attract will come to you mm -hmm. like, sometimes i genuinely think it works like that yeah so sometimes so you you focusing on dating and dating no offense when you haven't got your shit together so let's just say you're mad overweight you um you have no money in the bank you have a shit job sometimes all these these factors will um hold you back from getting the type of partner you want yeah so until you are the the bitch that you you want to be like you won't attract the partner of your dreams yeah so sometimes just focus on you until you have all of that and if you have all of that make sure he sees that yeah make sure he sees that you've worked hard for it so why not yeah like want it. yeah 100 percent. like let's just say like you've got your your whip and that yeah not like not no shade to um not no shade to any girls but not not every female drives if you know that you've got your little whip and that and you're mm -hmm. working hard and he wants to take you on a date you know first date cool maybe he can pick you up but after a couple of dates you know make sure that he sees that you you've yeah. you, you drive i'm like uh, uh, no offense but like unlike maybe the other girls like show him that yeah i'm an ambitious person i've yeah. got my shit together if you got your little business like i said your little eyelash you say your little eyelashes on on whatever make sure he sees it when he watches your snap make sure you put it there make sure you show that look i'm winning i'm winning i've got something to me so make sure because that's very sexy yeah don't be a negative nancy don't be like okay for example yeah um, let's say where he's doing that thing where he doesn't talk to you for a couple of days and then when he does finally come to talk to you you are like oh I've had a terrible day oh this and that why don't you ever call me why don't you text me blah blah blah, blah. in his mind 
he's gonna start thinking every time I talk to this girl, she's negative. She brings me down. Then he's not gonna call you anymore. He's not gonna want to talk to you yeah, because true. you are a negative person. When you're around him, ah, oh, babe, like just no, leave that stuff out. Be positive. Be a nice energy to be about. When he's not talking to you, she'll be missing you because he thinks you know what. Every time I talk to you, Sheila, she brings me oh joy, excitement. Mm -hmm. Want to talk to you every day? Yeah, no, it's true. You know, like no one wants to be around negative Nancy. No. So even if you're hiding from, even if you're suffering from depression, yeah. like that's not gonna get you the guy that you want i'm really sorry but it's not nobody wants to be around somebody that feels sorry for themselves and feel negative if you have to fake it fake it yeah seriously fake it no one wants to hear you moaning yeah it's annoying yeah no one wants to hear you moaning it's not nice vibes you know like she said fair enough you might have depression and that would be something that is hard for you you, you might find it difficult to not be in that negative space but just no one wants to wipe that try I mean, if you have depression, then I think that's something that you have to work on outside of a relationship. I mean, yeah, hundred percent. Into a relationship, but when the person comes, at least you show them appreciation for being there. Do your best to, I don't know, try to isolate your interaction with that person and make it positive. Even though I know it's it's difficult. Hundred, hundred. Number okay, number six, and I find this no, no number five, number five. I find this one of the hardest okay. because I'm a very jealous person. But during the talking stages don't sweat other females don't bring them up pay them dust you don't even see them okay yeah. they're invisible to you bro because you do not want to show a guy you are insecure in any capacity do you understand yeah. this is the talking stages you know when a guy let me take the most disrespectful thing so i have to put my phone down let me take the most disrespectful thing a guy can ever say to you what's up okay yeah, hurry up though, because I can't feel when you're walking. So you might just get them. No, I'm not. I'll, go, I'll cut it out. What? Just, this part is not going on. Just okay. get it and go. No, I'm just gonna wee as well. Okay, if you hear you wee, they hear you wee. Okay, so what was I saying? This is the most disrespectful thing a guy can ever say to you. Ever say to you. And I know some of you have had a guy say it to you. And it's a joke man thing. It's a joke man thing. If someone says it to you, like honestly, you know sometimes, yeah, I'm sitting around and I just think, oh my god, like, what can I do? Block this person? Stab this person? How dare you say that to me? When a guy says to you, why are you acting like that? Like, oh, wait, are you my girl? You're not my girl. Or oh, we're not in a relationship. What? Don't ever let a guy say to you, no. but you're not my girl or we're not in a relationship. Never let a guy say that to you. Never let a guy say that to you. Don't. That I find that the most disrespect. You must want to die. Don't ever come and tell me I'm not your girl. That has to be a girl, you fucking waste, man. Don't ever let a guy say to you, you're not my girl. Who are you talking to like that? Fucking dickhead. About I'm not your girl. I don't want to be your girl, waste, man. Wait, so, the, so one of the things that uh, the, uh, no one of the things that leads down that road is when you start acting jealous. Yeah. Million percent. Oh, like where was you, la la la? But you're not my girl, though. Mhm. Mm but you're not, you're not my girl, though. Imagine you said that to a boy. But, but um, are you my man? Imagine you said that to a boy. He'll probably cut you off, you know. Probably just lock you off. Yeah. And then... That's because it. Guess why he would lock you off? Because it's highly disrespectful. Yeah. It is the height of disrespect. You know, one boy one time said to me about another girl yeah. he said she knows how to play her position hey i said if you <laughs> ever talk about me like that if you ever talk about me like that you will never hear but from me ever again why, what, how, how did this happen he was talking about a, a, a next girl i think she knows how to play her position yeah but i mean the thing with you with him saying you're not my girl you're complaining to me about something about another girl what why did he tell you that you are you're oh you're not my girl why are you behaving like that you were complaining to me about another girl I can't remember. I can't remember. This is this is years of of of, of things I've, I've calculated. Yeah. But I have had a person say to me before, maybe not that rudely, but I like, want in a relationship. You don't need to come and, and and tell me that. You know when a guy, you know, I even find it disrespectful when a guy's just like, obviously, like man can get to know you and that, like I like you and all of that. But obviously, I'm not in the right space to right now be getting to a relationship. Nobody yeah, wants you, that, bro. Nobody wants if you. I know, that, but you just don't date him. I know the commitment. It's always them giving. Oh, I have to give you commitment. I'm in I control. Don't you commitment. Yeah. You might not be good enough for me. Hear what I'm saying? Always act cool and collected. I beg, don't yeah. let anybody ever disrespect you. Yeah. Just be like, mm -hmm. not bothered. Mm. 
And then if he's even like, oh, how come you're, you're like, you know when he's just like, oh, can I see you? Like, why have you gone cold? Why do you think I've gone cold, nigga? You just want to um, lash and dash. Mm. Go suck a dick. Real yeah, talk. Go suck a dick. You're not serious. I don't need to have this conversation with you. I don't even explain myself to people. When people are really acting like, Lani, I want to see you. I don't have time to see you because you have shown you're an serious person. I don't need to give you, be giving you explanation. I will never, ever, ever be your fuck buddy. Like, that's, and that's on facts. I will never be anybody's fuck buddy. That will never happen, all right? I'd rather be by myself for 20 years than be someone's fucking fuck buddy. Yeah. That's not me, that's just me personally. I don't do the fuck buddy thing. I'll never let anybody disrespect me and say to me, oh yeah, but we're not together. Oh, we're not together. Your mom's not together, how about that? <laughs> no one will ever tell me that shit. I'm, no, I'm just not in the right space. So yeah, don't get jealous about females. Also, I heard someone say, like, some other advice guru said that when you talk about a certain female over and over again, you're kind of making him think about her. You're bringing her up. Okay, yeah, I can understand, especially like if, you're pushing him if towards you keep her. On, if you keep on saying, oh, you know, why are you always talking to Alicia, bro? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You're still thinking, right, like, should I be paying attention to Alicia? Is she nice? Or actually, yeah, 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 you know yeah, yeah. what? She's you're, threatened by her. Yeah. Because she's a bad beat. Because she, maybe, she realises that Alicia's better than her. That's what yeah. you believe. Alicia's not better than you. Don't talk about Alicia. Yeah, just, just cut. Look, Peng, this is uh, obviously obvious. Yeah, this is an obvious one, but I don't think it's that obvious. Yeah, it's I'm, definitely. I've actually got to give an example. It's definitely not obvious. I will give that example right now because people watch these videos. It's definitely but not obvious. I for some think people. something that happens is a lot of girls when they they think you know I'm just gonna be myself, I'm just gonna be real, you know I'm just gonna whip off but my. But the whip problem is the day. problem is your real self and your real, your real self, your natural self is clapped. Yeah, that, that's that's <laughs> true. And to be honest, he doesn't like you enough to overlook the fact that actually you know what you're a bit clapped. To find yeah. your wig. Yeah. So keep that wig on, you know. Make sure your face is still looking nice and pretty. You can't Make get sure you're dressed too nice. Soon. Yeah, it's not attractive. And I know guys will gas you up and be like, no, but like, I like girls that are real. I like girls that, you know, can just whip their wig off. No, not in the beginning. Don't yeah, but they, they like it when they're in love with them. Yeah. Like, even I like the fact that, oh, I'm so comfortable around this person that I can just take my wig off. But in the beginning, first date, and we're in the car, it doesn't. Okay, sorry, I'm rambling. Okay. Dating and friendship is different, but there are some people that don't mind if they if the two coincide. Mm -hmm. I'm not one of those people. Let me I give you an that. example. I'm not one of these those people ever. Okay. Yeah. If you're my boyfriend, you're not my. F you're, okay, you're my friend, but you can, do not treat me the way my best friend treats me. So for for example, That's if my best boy. friend farts. Oh no 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 no! no, no, no. There are no, some no, people no, who no, treat no, that no. couple yeah, in a relationship. Like no 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 no. No, but there the are people that do that. The, even okay, our relationship as a sister. The yeah, things you do to me, right? There's some people that that they'll do that with their boyfriend. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. There is a, it's a, di there's a difference. There is a line. There's a cross that there's line. A, there's a no, but some people th they actually want that. They want they want a boyfriend that they would can treat like their best friend. The way they scratch their their the fanny in front of their best friend, they want to do that in front of their man. No, sis, it's a different lane. Yeah. To me, it doesn't work. I, I'll tell you, my, I have little pet peeves like this. When I'm talking to a guy and he's on the phone just telling me I'm gonna bust a shit, that's not yeah, cute. That's not sexy. That's not cute. That's not cute. Don't do that. No, no, no. But some guys, a girl do, doesn't mind. I guess what? I mind because I have to I'm fancy you. I have to fancy you. And next time I'm kissing you, I'm gonna be thinking about you telling me you have to bust a shit. I, I do mind. I want somebody to um, pre present their best, the, the best self. Sorry, the best version of. The can't just. Oh, I'm, I'm just gonna go with gorilla, gorilla pubes to her because get me she's my dog. I'm not a dog. <laughs> I'm not a dog, innit? Yeah. And, you know, do you understand? Like, no, I fully really understand. Like, some people they joke like they'll fight in each other's faces, burp in each other's faces. Yeah. That is not for me because like when I'm looking at you, and I think this is for men as well. Well, for some boys and men, when they look at the woman or the girl, they see her as this like magical, sort of beautiful yeah. goddess. And then when you're fighting and you know twinkle tingle toe where you're doing a poo, weeing, stinking, you know, just heavy everywhere. It's just like it takes away the magic and it takes away the romance. Sure. You might as well just be homies and friends. Yeah, I, I'm not on that, but some people yeah. are on it. But I'm personally, it. I would okay. say if you don't know if that person is on that because you don't know them yet well enough and you really fancy them, I would say hold back. Yeah. And maybe if they if they do that kind of nonsense behaviour first, um, 
then you can bring that side out of you yeah. but you might be really shooting yourself in the foot by acting too goofy in front of your 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 um, potential bay in the talking mm -hmm. stages a lot of people act over goofy in the talking stages act over friendly this isn't your homie yeah this person's supposed to fancy you look sexy sis don't be putting on snapchat when he's following you don't be putting on stupid videos of you flinging your wig off and then your bae is on there watching that shit. Yeah. And then you wonder why he wants to cheat cheat on you with the girl and want to get a BBL. Yeah. Because she's all about her looks, fam. Yeah. And men are visual creatures. So hard. even me, I even slip up. Me, I'm not gonna lie. Even me, I slip up. This is the one where you have to leave things for relationships. No one's gonna buy the cow when they're getting the milk for, for free. free. 100%. No one's buying the freaking cow. Why do I have to? When you do too much for a guy in the talking stages, he never has to wife you. You're already his wifey. Yeah. And guess what? You're his wifey. Okay, so he's your boyfriend, but you're not his girlfriend. Yeah. Do you understand? Because he's still doing his thing on the side. Yeah. Because you gave him the milk for free. So all of these things, it depends on you. Or else he's just never not gonna wife you. So you can't do too much for a guy that's not your man. So for instance, why are you cooking for him? Yeah, don't do that. Don't don't do that. I think that's doing way too much. Save stuff stuff like um. I'm gonna think of anything right now. Making make it make him an egg sandwich. Yeah. Make him don't an egg go sandwich. out of your way to cook for him. If there's food in the house, or if you're cooking for yourself, be like, okay, cool. Do you want some of the food that I'm making? That's fine. But don't but, wake up, be doing you know three course meal, breakfast and bed, brunch, assorted pancakes. It's too much. <laughs> yeah, because a hundred bitches, a hundred bitches are, do, are, are gonna do that for him anyway. Yeah. Especially if he's like a good, like he's he's a suitable bachelor. Like a hundred girls are gonna be cooking for him. Mm. He's gonna go to you. Realize this video be so long. He's gonna go to your house for breakfast, go to Sally Sue's house for lunch, and then go to Bethany Franklin's house for, <laughs> for dinner. dinner. Exactly. Do you understand? Yeah. You don't need to be doing all of that. Do not cook for him. And men, at the end of the day, let's be honest, a lot of men like the bitch. To be honest, that whole topic is a whole nother conversation for a whole nother day. Yeah. But in just in terms of holding back you have to in your mind set yourself maybe three four five things that you're saying i'm not going to do for someone until i'm in a relationship with them it can be things like um maybe i'm not going to have a sleepover with him or maybe yeah i'm not going to shag him mm -hmm. or maybe i'm going to preserve but when, but when guys are asking for favours, like, oh, babes, like, obviously, like, man's not um, feeling well, I brought my leg in football, yeah, can you go get some groceries yeah, for me? Yeah, don't do that. Do save you that for, yeah, save that until you're in a relationship. Or can I have a bit of money? Save that until you're in a relationship. Don't do, I, I just don't think you should do anything, if I'm really honest. Okay. I think you should just make your, your standards really known that I don't I don't do nothing for people unless they're serious yeah. about me. Yeah. I'm not, I don't play this game. I'm not here. Yeah. I'm not here to get my heart broken. That's just me, but I'm extreme. So for instance, for me, if I did the sex thing mm -hmm. before the title, it would definitely be um I think I would do it now differently. I would do sex as a one off. So okay. one on a on 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 a one on a random Friday we had sex and the next time I see him I say, Excuse me, excuse me. That you got lucky that day. Mm -hmm. Yeah? You got lucky. I, I don't have regular sex. Yeah. I don't have regular sex with people who put everyone in. So yeah. until you're my boyfriend, you're not getting regular sex, in it? It will be when I feel like it, sporadically. Yeah. yeah. I don't need to make you happy. And then he goes, oh, is it? Is it? So what? If he said to me, like, oh, what? So my, but man can get it from elsewhere. Do as you please. Do your thing. Do your thing. Again. Do your thing. Do as you please. Mm. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. But for the younger generation, they're not going to do that. They're going to bun. You think? Yeah, for the younger, younger generation, they're definitely just gonna have sex. Having sex with somebody regularly and making somebody and getting into situationships is just a mess. Getting situationships can just fuck you over. I, I, I don't really agree with situationships. I think they're long, um, and I think it also gives a boy um, the leverage to situationship you and situationship. But then that's why you have to hold things back. Yeah, definitely, but he can have, if, if a boy's in a situationship with you, you can have situationships with four girls. Yeah. Because he's not your boyfriend. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's a bit messy. I mean, if you can't hold, up, hold back on sex, I understand, like, it, it's, like, it's, come on, we live in the 21st century. But I would definitely say, try not to, sorry. <sighs> Try not to do over, over, don't do too much cooking for him, cleaning for him. Like you said, the job, the helping with job. Oh yeah, stuff like oh, I'm gonna help you with this job application, sending him job adverts, um, 
promoting his um, event that's happening on the weekend, you know, going out and sending out people flyers and all that type of stuff. Just don't do too much. In your mind, you have to say, this is girlfriend behavior and this is talking stage behavior. And make sure you can distinguish the two and don't mix and match. Yeah, doing too much is not cute. You know, I, oh God, I did a lot, man. Do you know, um, one time, there's a person that I dated. Yeah. They were coming up with a mixtape. And I bought their mixtape 10 times. No, you did that? Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I made different accounts to buy their mixtape. On, on, because, really? Yeah, because on iTunes, you know, you have your account. And it's just like, you pay for it monthly. But I made different Apple IDs so I could buy the, uh, um, the album. And because Apple doesn't really let you buy it, I know it's stupid, but it doesn't, I, I couldn't figure out how to buy it more than once. Yeah. You can't put the same song in twice twice type of thing wow. so i made t i sat there during my lunch break making making several different accounts just to buy their mixtape 10 times to make them feel good about life and then i said it to them feeling feeling really proud of myself okay yeah dickhead <laughs> <laughs> dickhead <laughs> Lisa! 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 don't be like me yeah, don't, don't, don't. What's that? What, 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 what did I think that would be? Oh my god, you're so supportive. I love you. <gasps> oh, another thing as well that I'm going to add that I, I have. I have done and also wanted to do for certain people don't buy people birthday presents and Valentine's Day presents and Christmas presents if they're not your boyfriend because what are you doing? That's true. One time I wanted to bake some boy a cake we hadn't even gone on a date with him what was wrong with me? Stupid, don't do that stuff but then what if, so okay on his birthday what should you do? Um. Don't text him at 12 either. Yeah, don't be the first one to text him. Like, have a life. Yeah, wake, oh. wake up the next day. Wake up the next day and at like 11, 12, then be like, yo, happy birthday. Yeah. But what, no, what, nothing? No, I'm not saying do, do nothing. I'm saying maybe you can get him what about cupcake. What about spending under 30 pounds on the boy? Yeah, I was gonna say that. Spend under 30 pounds on him. I think that's fine. And obviously, you know, when your boyfriend can spend more. What kind of thing can you get someone for £30 though? Because I shit. You can get them cupcakes. You can get them a cake. Or what, from like Lola's? Yeah, just get them a little free happy birthday, coffee candles in it. What? I just think that's dead. I can't even imagine you getting someone just cupcakes. I might as well not get yeah, them Yeah, but if you're... Th but I'm thinking about if you've been seeing someone for, let's say, two or three months. What was you buy them? But then see, I got Gucci, the car. Do you know what? I'll just probably boy it and buy them flowers. <laughs> no, no, that's what I'll do, you know. Next relationship, I'm going to buy him flowers on his birthday. Okay. Because I was, do you know what? One time I was trying to buy someone, I did this. I was trying to buy someone a gift that's not too expensive, innit? It, because it's just talking stages. So it's an under 30 pound gift. I ended up buying them, um, what's that brand? I ended up buying them that hat. What's that hat that everyone has? Icon. The yeah. D squared two. Yeah. Do you know those hats are 130 yeah, yeah, pounds? Yeah. Yeah. That was my under 30 pound. Because I thought something small. D squared two hat. That's not something small. Yeah. So it's D squared. D squared two. It's D squared. There's D squared two, you know. It's D squared. There's D squared two. Isn't it just called D squared? No, there's D squared two. I've seen it. Okay. I think there is. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm really thinking, what can you buy a guy for under 30 pound? The hat said cake. Flowers is alright though, isn't it? No, because boys don't want flowers. Buy them socks. Yeah, but why? How much are carbon crayon underwear? And you wrap it and everything like a dickhead. Yeah. You think you're broke. Come to for the birthday. For next year. For Christmas. Valentine's. That's this one is really... Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, really hating me. It's, really me. Really it's something else. Someone's birthday. Might as well just, just get them a card. Okay, why don't you take them out for a lunch or a dinner? Do you know what I'll do? <laughs> what? I would actually... Do, no, I'll allow it. A dinner. So where will you take them? To Nando's? For 30 pounds? You no. said 30 pounds! What do you mean? It's you not your man! You get little dates! Yeah, but then you're going to take them somewhere nice and spend 100 pounds and it's no, not your man. No, because you're not going to go to the Shard. So where are you going to go? Gonna, there's, trying, there's so many restaurants in London that you can go to that are just nice. But then you want him to think you're a winning bitch. Why are you taking him there? The point but is, yesterday, uh -huh, I'm yesterday, winning. Yesterday, uh -huh, I'm winning. You shop in your, you know, your Gucci bag, your Mercedes car, and then you take him to a humble restaurant. He knows she's got nah, no dead. But I'm not spending no, 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 don't take him nowhere. Don't take him nowhere. He don't deserve that shit. Get, get him balloons. 
that uh, balloons that's the best one i give them to his house balloons you know why because balloons you can even get five fat balloons happy birthday happy birthday g or g loads of fat balloons fat balloons but balloons only cost you 15 pounds okay okay that's it and when he's mm. thinking is this all she got me and then on christmas merry christmas and that's it ah, and, and they say i've got you something and behind you have mistletoe but you cut from the tree <laughs> you got it from the tree yeah yeah and that's it okay yeah, keep it humble keep it humble anyway guys i hope you enjoyed that video if you do all those steps trust me he's gonna be on your nuts trust me or on your ovaries on your tits on your tits he's gonna be on it on it on it on like it, car on it. it yeah he's gonna be on it so just do that stuff i know it's really difficult um yes. but uh, you guys you guys know how it is in this generation in this day and age yeah like you have to be smart you have to be smart. You have to be patterned. Don't let anyone mug you off. Sometimes you get mugged off because of your own foolishness. Mm -hmm. Because you're doing too much because you want to be desperate. Stop this desperation. Remember, Stop you're it. You're a bad bee. You're the baddest of the baddest bees. Yeah, it's 100% true. The nice, the nice, the, um, nice people come in last so, so stop being all the ones i'm wife in my material pick me i cook for you pick me pick me yeah i, I cook for you i'll give you pussy don't be scared to lose him because if he's really for you you're not gonna lose him true that don't be scared to lose him yeah don't be scared to lose him and would it, can we just add do you think it's a really big blunder to cry in front of a boy before when? talking stage talking stage what are you crying about your dog died Okay. But he's just been a bit of an asshole. <laughs> Is that what you've done? <laughs> you've done that one. Don't do that. <laughs> I've just done it. <laughs> You're actually a dickhead. You're actually a dickhead. You're actually a dickhead. Don't cry for ever. No. No. Never cry. Ever. You're not bothered? No. What about when he's like, oh, this is not working? You yeah, just, you just like, do yeah, this? Cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, <laughs> bye guys. Make bye. sure oh, make sure you subscribe. Make like, sure you like me. Comment, share, everything. Comment, share everything. Alright, guys. And also write below if you want to see my sister again. Okay, bye guys. Bye. Bye. That's like almost baby Jim Masu. Baby Jim Masu. Oh baby Jim